What's up, my lovelies? Today we are going to be making a geode letter. I have this letter L here I'm making a Christmas present for my mama. And I wanted to make her a beautiful L with a wreath that she can decorate. Here we have this wreath right here. Spray painted it. And so it has its base ready for decoration. For our geo letter, first what you want to do is paint and prime your letter. And you want to do it with white. That way any colors you put on top will really pop. Next what you're going to want to do is start off with your glass. <laughs> I have this yellowish beige glass right here. Let me show you guys. How pretty does that look? We actually need to take some painter's tape and we need to create a border along the entirety of the letter so that any resin that once it spreads will not fall off the side. So let's do that. So it would look like this. See how it's going to keep the resin from slipping off the edges. However, before we finish, so I decided I want to take some UV resin and put our glass on exactly where we know we're going to want it to be. I think I want this one to go from here. To there. Now I'm going to add in a little bit more resin to thicken it up. I'm gonna move some down here, keeping it in a diagonal form. Um, Okie dokie. We're gonna take some of this yellowish beige glass. Oh, that's so pretty. And we're going to plop it right where we put that UV resin. And I'm gonna use a clean popsicle stick to help arrange them. And the reason I'm doing this now, you can totally do this with regular resin. Um, but I want my rocks to be in place. That way I can create a work of art with paint and things like that around it and not have to worry that I will mess up the rocks. All right, now I'm going to take my UV light. You can use a bigger one. You can use the one this size, whatever you have and let that sit. I would make sure each part of the glass get about 60 seconds to make sure they're completely dry and then we'll continue taping up the rest of the L. All right, now we have the L completely wrapped around with painter's tape. Make sure there's no gaps, that it's nice and flush up against the edging of the letters because this is really what's going to keep the resin from overflowing and all that jazz. Look how pretty those rocks are. I'm gonna put down some of this epoxy where I would like to see it rocks to go. Here. And on the other side. Just like so. I want some of those lighter colored ones over here. All right, get down. That's it for now. Now we're gonna go in with some of this gold. I mixed up some gold resin with mica powder. And we are going to dribble it. This is all going to have a method, don't you worry. Oh, that looks so cool. It's beautiful. It looks just like the sage rocks. Let's mix up some of that.
I'm going to grab these golden flakes and some tweezers and we are going to put some I'm just letting it touch the resin and then popping it back up it's really difficult to see what you're doing I'm going to take some of these clear. Get our heat gun. We're going to put it on low. I put some clear resin right in these two spots and I have these beautiful, beautiful flowers right here and I want to put some in there. So we're going to delicately, with some tweezers, grab a flower and place it in there. It is so beautiful. Now we're gonna add some more clear, some more of these clear crystals right here and a little bit more shimmer. It's just about ready to have the tape taken out around it. I had to create a little bridge so I could create some, some um, straighter lines a little bit. So I wanna show you guys a trick. So first off, we have a little spillage off to the side. That's fine, we can always just break that off or use an X-Acto knife to take it off. One of the edges here and start peeling off. If it gets stuck or doesn't want to come off, what you can always do, let me set it down for a second. You can take your heat gun on low, turn the temperature down, turn it down, and then you're just gonna gently take it to the edges of the tape for just a couple seconds and then it should come right off. But it looks like it's um, pretty easy going here so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape and then we're going to let it sit overnight to finish curing all right gorgeous beans now that we have the tape off it is time to sand our edges just a little bit we really want to make sure that these are smooth so they can take the gold paint and also any uh, edges like this like if you look at it at an angle can see right here it's a little uneven so let's take care of that so once we finish sanding you want to make sure you wipe it down with a um, cloth, a fiber cloth. I like to use one for your cars that you dry your car with. Those are a safe bet to make sure that you keep the shine and um, keep it all nice and smooth and everything. Get rid of all that dust and then you're ready to start with your deco color. This is in gold and we're going to line the whole thing. And then we'll go in with some gold detailing. And you're gonna to wanna to do this around the whole edge. And let me just show you what it starts to look like. Look at that. You can see it bouncing off. It gives it a gold 
beautiful finish. It's gonna look really nice. I want to kind of create some line and definition around, especially here where I put the freckles and the river. So I'm gonna take the thinnest part of the brush and we're just gonna go. It's little details, but it looks really good, you guys. Like you can see it there. See that there? And we're gonna do that with gold and with white. Alrighty guys, and this is the finished product. Can we just take a look at this beauty? Okay, I put it on a solid white back circle just because I, I didn't feel like it was sturdy enough. But look at this letter. I mean, look at it. It shines. It's so natural looking. I love it. And the ombre leaves came out perfectly. And she can put something on the back, back here, to uh, put it up in her house. I love it. Oh, I had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more DIY projects. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Do something that makes y'all smile today. You guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day. Bye, guys.